Hi, and welcome to PCH TV. I'm Chrissy. And I'm Janaya. Orchestra had the opportunity to travel to New York last weekend to play at Carnegie Hall. Juan and Ben talked to the director and students who went on the trip. After earning the opportunity to play at the world-famous Carnegie Hall, Parkway Central's orchestras took off to New York on April 6th. Orchestra teacher and conductor Alicia Bont talks about the trip. We earned the opportunity to play at Carnegie Hall by participating in a World Strides trip last year to New Orleans. And at that trip, we got a gold rating, and that gold rating allowed us to compete for uh, the festival at Carnegie. The students have worked really hard and they've set a high bar for themselves and each person has been pulling their weight and trying to achieve their very best and I really see that in every single day that they practice. A senior, Addie Lake, who's attending the trip, talks about how she is preparing. Um, we're practicing a lot in class and having after school rehearsals and I'm making sure to also practice the parts that I need to at home. Although the purpose of the trip is to perform at Carnegie Hall, that is not all they will be doing during their time in New York City. We are going to see a Broadway show, The Lion King. We are going up in a couple of tall buildings like the One World Observatory and Top of the Rock. We're going to have food at some famous New York restaurants and we're going to explore Times Square. Addie says she is very excited for the trip and talks about what she is most looking forward to. Um, I'm most looking forward to being able to play in Carnegie Hall because it's such a cool performance hall and so I'm excited that, to be able to say that I've played there. This has been Juan and Ben reporting for PCH TV. The boys swim team had a historic season winning the first championship in 44 years. One of the juniors on the team is signing to swim in college at a Big Ten school. Chrissy has the story. As swim season has come to a close, William Jost is gearing up to swim D1 at Purdue University. Jost has recently announced his verbal commitment to Purdue. Um, I, think, I think it means a lot to me personally because it's kind of like, it's not the end of a journey, but it's seeing all your work pay off. As an upperclassman on the swim team, Will has stepped into more of a leadership position. Obviously, Will is a dominant swimmer, but what was really cool to see this year was how he stepped up into a leadership role on the team in addition to his abilities in the pool. One of the many reasons Will was drawn to Purdue was because of the swim program. Just like, I like how they practice, I like how they have fun while they practice, but I also like how they're able to put the work in and get results out of it. As his senior year approaches, Will is still hungry for more wins. The special thing about Will is that he's always hungry to improve. Will didn't lose a single freestyle event all season long. He got four first place medals as a junior, um, but I know he wants an even better senior year. So his attitude, his perseverance, his work ethic, I'm excited to see him continuing to dominate his senior year. This is your Chrissy reporting for PCH TV. A junior track athlete finds her way down another runway on a regular basis. Rain goes behind the scenes with model Jaya Owens. Parkway Central's Jaya Owens is in the 11th grade and has just started her long and beautiful journey of eventually becoming a full-time model. What inspired me to be a model mainly is the people around me, my family. They, they've always told me that I had a really good height and that I would be perfect for I had the perfect frame for a model. When I'm a model, I feel like since I love to do it so much, I just feel like, I don't know, I'm meant to do it, like I love it, and I just feel like it's me, it's within me, so I feel good when I'm walking down the runway. Jaya has been modeling for two years now, and with that comes many advantages. Some of the benefits that come with being a model would be the pay. Um, you get paid, and you get paid off commission as well. And I would say definitely the people I've met, I've met some really good people. And also the adults, I think they're very inspiring and they help you out a lot. And they just, everybody wants the best for you. So when you're in an environment where everybody wants the best for you and everybody has the same mindset as you, I feel like you can't beat them. Not only is Jaya working to become a model, but she is also a student athlete and with that comes challenges. How I manage my time being an athlete and being a model. Um, and also grades, grades will never be a problem, that's fine, my grades are straight. But as far as modeling and being a track athlete, that come, it hits each other because 
sometimes I have a runway show or I have a modeling practice and I can't miss those. And then I have to make sure I let my coach know that I won't be at practice that day. Even though I want to be at practice, I do miss out on some type of some meets and some practices every now and then. With modeling, Jaya has many opportunities and projects coming up that she is very excited for. Some things that I'm definitely looking forward to will be the shows that I've been working on. I have a few shows coming up, two actually. Um, the most recent one that's coming up is called A Taste of Fashion Minimalist Edition. It's um, a men and female, and it's going to be like an art. It's going to be an art show, so we're going to be, it's going to be all natural, and we're going to be modeling art as if you yeah. This is Rain reporting for PCH TV. Track season is in full force, and Dylan goes to the track to talk to a veteran jumper. I interviewed Malcolm Jolly about this upcoming track season to see what he most excited about. What make this a good season is lots of new talent that are arriving um, in track and field. Um, a lot of new guys that have natural born talent and working hard in workouts and just getting stronger, getting all the guys together, figuring out what events we want to do. It's going to make us a really strong team. I got Malcolm's opinion on what makes track a rewarding sport. I most definitely think track is a rewarding sport because um, the time you spend running with your uh, friends is uh, very good for um, relationships with like your friends and um, it helps you mentally because it um, builds bonds and physically because you're getting becoming a better athlete. I asked Malcolm how he deals with the stress of competing in meets. Competing by um, just realizing that um, all my other know, friends on the team are doing it with me. So just knowing that I'm on, not by myself, but I'm on a team um, helps me just uh, do better and breathing and just, you know, being a good, being a good sport, like whatever happens, happens. But, you know, um, being calm definitely helps with the stress. I asked Michael, what are you plans on improving on the most this season? I plan to improve on myself most this season is getting faster times um, in my 200 and 400 meter um, dash races and getting further in my triple jumps. I definitely can work further to improve those distances and times. This has been Dylan Simon reporting for PCH TV. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. Colts out.